You're late. And drunk? Yeah, a little. Sorry. Well, I guess we'll all be drinking soon enough. Yup. Never thought I'd see this day. No, I suppose not. You gonna be okay? Uh, I suppose. You suppose? Yeah, I suppose. Cal, why is the word suppose even in your vocabulary right now? I suppose because you use the word suppose first. Well, I would like to think you would know. I mean, we have been through the scenario a dozen times before, and you told me you were certain you were okay with it. We both agreed that this day would not exist until you were completely ready for it. Right? Right? Yes. And now this day is here. Yep. It's here. Are you ready for it? Am I ready for it? Why wouldn't I be ready for it? I mean, I wasn't the issue here. You, you were the issue. Jesus Christ. Rick. Getting married's always an issue, whether you're ready for it or not. I just happen to take first place in the issue factor. So, are you ready? That is the most ridiculous question, even drunk, I've ever heard. I don't think so. Even drunk. Well, it is. And you love her? Oh, come on, Cal. Of course I love her. How much? How much? Yeah, how much? A lot. That's how much. A lot? That's not an answer. An answer would be, I love her with all my heart. I love her with every ounce of my being. I love her far more than words can describe. Those are answers. Cal. You can't just state how much you love someone. I mean, love is what love is. It just is. That's, that's deep, bro. No, you can do better than that. Come on, on a, on, a, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you love her? What, like uh, rating a video on YouTube or a book on Amazon.com? No, you can't just rate how much you love someone. Sure you can. No, you can't. Why not? Because. Because why? Because if you're willing to get married, then you know you love that person. Willing? Willing. <laughs> That's a great basis for marriage, bro. I'm willing. As, as we stand at this altar today, and as God is our witness, do you, Rick, take this woman to be your bride, your lawfully wedded wife, to love her? in sickness and in health and, and in good times and in bad till death till death do you part i'm willing on a scale of one to ten i'm willing <laughs> i now pronounce you willing and wife may now.
kiss the bride. Listen, Cal. We have been over this for almost two years now. And you swore you were okay with this. And that's why you're my best man, for Christ's sake. Now all of a sudden, you just bust out and you tell me that you can't handle it? Why do you wait until the 11th hour to tell me you're not okay with all this? Because... Because I didn't know it was going to feel like this. I had no idea it was going to feel like this until it just kept getting bigger and bigger like a tropical storm. You know, like a, like a storm brewing over warm water, brewing into a hurricane until it just kept getting, building bigger and bigger until I couldn't stop it. I can't stop it. I have no control over my feelings or anything anymore. You never had any control. What's that supposed to mean, bro? Nothing. No, you said it. It probably means something. What does it mean? Nothing. Just let it go. No. What? Come on. It means if you hadn't cheated on Lisa four years ago, I would be your best man right now instead of you being mine. Screw you, Ricky. Screw you. Stop it, Cal. We're in church for God's Screw sake. Screw it, Come on, man. Stop it. You want to take me down? Let's take it outside. If you're willing. <laughs> One to ten, how much do you love Lisa? I don't know. I don't rate my love for another person on a scale of one to ten. No, you're just willing to marry? How goddamn noble of you. Oh, why bother? We're both going to hell already. How much do you love Lisa? Come on, Rick, don't be shy. How much? Ten. Liar. Nine. Liar! Eight, all right? I love her an eight. Are you lying to me? You better not be lying to I'm me. I'm not. If I had to give an honest answer, on a scale of one to ten, it would be an eight, okay? That's not enough. Why not? Eight's a good number. It's better than most people get married. Because I love her at ten. You hear that, big brother? I love her at ten. From the moment I fucked up our relationship until the moment we're in now, I loved her at ten. A ten, a perfect ten. What if she doesn't love you a perfect ten? What if she just loves you an eight? An honest eight. I don't know. I just know I love her a ten. I'll always love her at 10. Always. When? You were in Florida. Visiting my mother in the hospital? You didn't want to go, you... You didn't want to go. Lisa. It just doesn't make any sense. We're gonna get married, have kids. I actually thought I had a future with Cal. 
there goes that. Just never expected it from him. I love Lisa. I really do. More like a closer to a nine now that you're not pressing on my chest. <laughs> I can't beat a perfect ten. You're the better man. We have <clears throat> exactly 75 minutes to see if Lisa is willing to alter her wedding plans. Gentlemen, Cal, Rick, what a beautiful day for a wedding, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Rod, it's fine, yes. I need to speak to Lisa. Rick, you are not allowed to see the bride before the ceremony. This is really bad luck. You guys aren't kidding, are you? I want to be alone right now. 